covering how to do some cost-effective um, grocery shopping. Um, so we all know by now probably that eating well does come at a price, but um, eating cheaper, less healthy foods down the road may prevent or may present some um, significant medical costs and consequences to your overall health. So it's definitely an investment, but it will be worth it in the long haul. So we've got a couple little pointers for you to help you shop a little bit more cost effectively, um, although we all know that eating healthier is a little bit more expensive. So number one, we're gonna go shopping with a plan. So make sure that you have a plan set out for the week on some meals that you wanna do. Um, also the thing is, is you do not wanna go shopping with an empty stomach because we know that we get very hangry if we don't have some food and then we buy things that we don't need or really want down the road. Um, also, uh, it helps if you buy what is in season and you plan your meals kind of around those food items. So a couple of things that Heather and I kind of always scoop up at Adam's, um, asparagus, which is good from pretty much February through June. So that's kind of when you'll see that at its cheapest. Um, Brussels sprouts, September through May. Adam's has a really big, nice selection of fresh ones that you kind of just grab and make a bag of. It's pretty much the only store in this area that has that, by the way, and they're the cheapest at Adams. So definitely, if you're into Brussels sprouts, that's where you should go. And then broccoli, kind of in season all year, relatively inexpensive, um, and you can do a lot with broccoli. You can make rice out of it. You can kind of make like a coleslaw thing. You can have it steamed. Possibilities so are yeah. endless, so that's a really good, and it fills you up, so that's a really good kind of cheap thing to always have in your refrigerator. The next thing is that uh, if you can buy frozen when on sale, it's great. Ashley uh, was telling me that midweek is really rough for her. She can't get to the store all the time, so she keeps some frozen food in her freezer, and that way it's an easy, fast, but still healthy um, choice. Um, and then a couple of the last items that we want to talk about, um, shopping around and buying in bulk. So um, I get the weekly sale flyers in my mailbox, you know, midweek, every week, and I always kind of spread them out, take a look at what, who has what on sale, and then kind of plan my shopping around that. Adams is usually where I go for most of my like fresh veggies and seafood and meats. But I do um, hit up ShopRite and Stop and Shop um, pretty regularly as well. Sometimes they have peppers 10 for 10 or things like that. So I'll kind of plan that into my like commute with work or maybe I'll just pop over there on my way home and grab a couple of like key items that are on sale. Um, I also shop around for my like grass fed um, ground beef and like my chicken that I like to get at Adams. You'll see today it was on sale so I buy a bunch <laughs> and then I just stick them in my freezer because they're not always on sale all the time and it's something that I know we're going to eat weekly so I kind of take advantage when I see the sales and I just buy a lot of it and then freeze them. Uh, same thing for me, I'm a huge seafood fan so I love red Argentine shrimp so whenever that's on sale at Adams you know that I'm buying at least two pounds of it um, so that's a great thing too. Those are frozen but um, a, also a great source of protein. Uh, Trader Joe's, that's another great place that I love going, yep. although it is out of the way. If I'm ever over in Connecticut, I definitely stop by there, and they have frozen uh, red Argentine shrimp, usually $9.99 a pound, so I literally buy like 10, 10 bags and just yeah. put them in my freezer. Um, that way, if I'm in a bind midweek and I can't make it to the store, it's there and I have no problems. Um, oh! So make sure that when you are at Adams, you say hi to your friendly Warlock people that work there. We ran into Nick today, and it's always great running into him and chatting it up with him. All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful, and we'll see you next week sir, for uh, your final layouts, and then some tips on how to kind of integrate back into normal life after the challenge. So look out for that. Yeah, big clap. Woo! <laughs>